Chapter 6 As I watched, the Lamb broke the first of the seven seals on the scroll. Then one of the four living beings called out with a voice that sounded like thunder, Come! I looked up and saw a white horse. Its rider carried a bow and a crown was placed on his head. He rode out to win many battles and gain the victory. When the Lamb broke the second seal, I heard the second living being say, Come! And another horse appeared, a red one. Its rider was given a mighty sword and the authority to remove peace from the earth, and there was war and slaughter everywhere. When the Lamb broke the third seal, I heard the third living being say, Come! And I looked up and saw a black horse, and its rider was holding a pair of scales in his hand. And a voice from among the four living beings said, A loaf of wheat bread, or three loaves of barley for a day's pay, and don't waste the olive oil and wine. And when the lamb broke the fourth seal, I heard the fourth living being say, Come! And I looked up and saw a horse whose color was pale green like a corpse, and death was the name of its rider, who was followed around by the grave. They were given authority over one-fourth of the earth to kill with the sword and famine and disease and wild animals. And when the Lamb broke the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of all who had been martyred for the word of God and for being faithful in their witness. They called loudly to the Lord and said, O oh, Sovereign Lord, holy and true, how long will it be before you judge the people who belong to this world for what they have done to us? When will you avenge our blood against these people? Then a white robe was given to each of them, and they were told to rest a little longer until the full number of their brothers and sisters, their fellow servants of Jesus, had been martyred. I watched as the Lamb broke the sixth seal, and there was a great earthquake. The sun became as dark as black cloth, and the moon became as red as blood. Then the stars of the sky fell to the earth like green figs falling from trees shaken by mighty winds. And the sky was rolled up like a scroll and taken away, and all of the mountains and all of the islands disappeared. Then the kings of the earth, the rulers, the generals, the wealthy people, the people with great power, and every slave and every free person all hid themselves in the caves and among the rocks of the mountains. And they cried to the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of the one who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath has come, and who will be able to survive?